Good afternoon. Welcome to the parish community of Mary, Mother of God. We would especially like to welcome our new parishioners and all those visiting with us this weekend. Today we celebrate the 25th Sunday in Ordinary Time. We begin our celebration in song. Please join in singing number 213, Holy, 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 hymn number 213 in your Breaking Bread Missal. Please rise and join in singing. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Holy Rosary Church, Mary Mother of God Parish, as we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries of our faith. Today we have the special presentation of the diocesan annual appeal and our uh, father in Christ, Bishop uh, 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 Joseph, will speak to us today about the needs of the diocese and the parishes as well. So that'll take place instead of the homily today. So, you can go, you don't have to listen to me. All right, so let us begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Thank you. Let us call to mind the fact that yes, we are sinners, but redeemed sinners in the blood of Jesus Christ. Let us ask for his forgiveness. Jesus, you are the way. Lord, have mercy. Jesus, you are the truth. Christ, have mercy. Jesus, you are the, the life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands on your sacred law, upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call him while he is near. Let the scoundrel forsake his way and the wicked his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord for mercy, to our God, who is generous and forgiving. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are your ways my ways, says the Lord. As high as the heavens are above the earth, so high are my ways above your ways and my thoughts above your thoughts. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Brothers and sisters, Christ will be magnified in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, life is Christ and death is gain. If I go on living in the flesh, that means fruitful labor for me. And I do not know which I shall choose. I am caught between the two. I long to depart this life and be with Christ, for that is far better. Yet that I remain in the flesh is more necessary for your benefit. 
Only conduct yourselves in a way worthy of the gospel of Christ, the word of the Lord. from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. Kingdom of heaven is like a landowner who went out dawn hired laborers for his vineyard. After agreeing with them for the usual daily wage, he sent them into his vineyard. Going out about nine o'clock, the landowner saw others standing in the marketplace. And he said to them, you too go into my vineyard and I will give you what is just. So they went off. And he went out against, again at noon and around three o'clock and did the likewise. Going out about five o'clock, the landowner found others standing around and said to them, why do you stand here idle all day? They answered, because no one has hired us. He said to them, you go too, go into my vineyard. When it was evening, the owner of the vineyard said to the foreman, summon the laborers and give them their pay. Beginning with the last, ending with the first. When those who had started about five o'clock came, each received the usual daily wage. So when the first came, they thought that they would receive more, but each of them also got the usual wage. And on receiving it, they grumbled against the landowner saying, these last ones worked only one hour, and you have made them equal to us who bore the day's burning and the heat. He said to one of them in reply, my friend, I am not cheating you. Did you not agree with me for the usual daily wage? Take what is yours and go. What if I wish to give the last one the same as you? Or am I not free to do as I wish with my own money? Are you envious because I am generous? Thus the last will be first and the first will be last. The Gospel of the Lord. As Catholics, we are called to follow the example of Jesus Christ by serving others. Whether it is in our home, our parish, schools, or community, each one of us can make a difference by responding to our call to serve. Hello everyone, I'm Bishop Ambera. Thank you for allowing me to spend a few minutes with you today. 
celebrating how the Diocese of Scranton is making a difference in the lives of countless people through the work of the Diocesan Annual Appeal. Because of your generous gifts, we are able to feed, clothe, and shelter our neighbors in need. We are able to educate young men and women in Catholic schools and support our seminarians and retired priests. We are also able to share the good news of Christ through television, print, and digital media, and bring more people to the Catholic faith through parish life programs and initiatives. We have so many stories to share. Here is just one made possible by your support. For nearly a decade, Navy veteran Joe Bates has called the former St. Hedwig School in Kingston home. The building, now owned by Catholic Social Services, is known as St. Hedwig's Veterans Village. It has 12 apartments specifically designated for veterans who have a disability and were homeless at one time. It was exactly what I needed. It's not too big, it's not too small. Each veteran has his or her own individual apartment. The building also has a common area where they can spend time together and socialize. This is kind of like a, a life preserver, so to speak. And uh, you just keep your head above water long enough so you can get back on your own feet. That's the most difficult thing that I've seen, you know, dealing with veterans and being one. Bates quickly bonded with Luke Malonis, who serves as case manager for St. Hedwig's. A Vietnam veteran himself, Malonis says St. Hedwig's has been a blessing for so many. The one word we should never hear before veteran is homeless. And unfortunately, there are thousands. This is a fantastic place. It gives them security knowing that they have a place to live. Uh, once they're in, they're in. Bates is so thankful for the helping hand he is receiving. He cuts the grass and does minor maintenance work around the building. I'm sure I'm uh, not unique in, in the opportunities that arose. I, I, I give all that to God. I mean, if it wasn't for him, then I wouldn't be in the position I'm in now. Bates has recently also gotten a full-time job with Kingston Borough because of Malonis' help and support. He is now saving up enough money to move out to South Dakota, where his son and granddaughter live. I'll be heartbroken when I leave here because, you know, I love Luke. Luke is one of the greatest men I've ever met. Um, he's got a heart bigger than anybody I know. Your gifts to the Diocesan Annual Appeal help Catholic Social Services maintain its commitment to veterans. Your donations help to keep St. Hedwig's operating, as well as St. Francis Commons in Scranton, which also houses more than two dozen veterans. While the effort is costly, it is so important and worthwhile. A lot of people get on hard times and they just need a helping hand. And without these organizations, I believe it would be uh, massively more difficult to, uh, to do that. How could you not want to help a disabled veteran? I mean, they, if it wasn't for veterans, a lot of us, we wouldn't have the freedoms we have. Through his life, death, and resurrection, Jesus set the ultimate example of what it means to serve others. We must look to him as we strive to be faithful stewards of the gifts God entrusted to our care. As you look for ways to answer our call to serve, I invite you to prayerfully consider a gift to the 2023 Diocesan Annual Appeal. Your generosity directly impacts the lives of children and families in need and helps to build communities where faith is nourished and shared. Your gifts provide critical funding to Catholic social services, Catholic schools, Catholic communication efforts, and parish life initiatives. Seminarians, our future priests, as well as many of our retired priests, also benefit from your generosity. Money from the appeal 
also has the ability to go right back to your parish for important projects through grants for our faith formation programs and social justice outreach. As your bishop, I simply want to say thank you. Thank you for all the ways you support your pastor and your parish. Thank you as well for the many ways you bring life to your local church through the work of the Diocesan Annual Appeal. Pledge cards are available in your parish right now. Please take a few moments to fill one out. And please, be as generous as you are able. Gifts of all sizes are needed and appreciated to fulfill our mission. Please know that you and your family remain in my prayers always. So if you take a minute to find a pledge card in your pews, there should be plenty of them. There should be three or four in every pew. And those you already gave, if you already gave terrific, we are at about 6% of our goal, which is not bad for the first week. But please, if everybody, you know, we usually lead the diocese in terms of the number of givers. And that is a great Great thing to be able to say, that we have more givers. We come close to our goal. We need everybody to contribute if you can. The important flap is the one that says, yes, check, Bishop Ambera can count on me to support Catholic ministries. This page here, they'd never like you to put anything in the envelope today. They'd rather you make a pledge, put it in the basket, etc. It's pretty simple. I don't know how to use that stupid QR code or QPQ to... R2, D2, Q, whatever. So the kids know how to do that stuff. I don't. Laugh all you want because I don't know. I would have no idea how to use electronic funds transfer, whatever that means. But if everybody can give some gift, if you can increase your gift a little more, we would make our goal. We always come close. Last couple of years, we have not made our goal. But if you could, there's pencils in the pew. If everybody gives something, you know, the Mount Pledge over here on this side, they don't like you to enclose an amount, whatever, if you want to, that's up to you, but a pledge is great. You should have gotten one of these in the mail. So if you didn't, let us know, because that means you're not on our list. If you give it now, they don't get any more letters saying, please, you know, you gave in the past, can you please give now? And you know, what that film said is very true. We have those food giveaways, or I shouldn't call them giveaways, they're kind of like parties we do for the kids down at Townhouse done off of Main Avenue. You don't pay for that. The appeal pays for that. We get grants. Does it help that I sit on the committee that gives out the grants? Yeah, it helps. I certainly take care of us. We have grants that we got this year for our CCD program to buy some new stuff for the kids. That's a grant we get from the appeal. So you're really kind of giving to yourself when you think about it. So it's very wise to give to the appeal. So just fill it out. Rip it off and put it inside the envelope. And you're pretty much good to go. Looks like a pouch. If everybody gives, we would make our goal easily. We usually come very close, within a thousand or so. So please give however you wish to. It's all pretty simple how it works. You just put it in. You can mail it in yourself if you want. Whatever. We'll save you a stamp if you give it to us. Leave the pencils in the pews because there are three more masses. I think you'll like our new screen. It's pretty fancy, pretty high tech. I'm happy to announce that next weekend we'll do the Signing up if you wish to sign up for a new ministry, lector, Eucharistic minister. 
grounds, welcomers, CCD teachers. There must be 30 or 40 opportunities. And some new options we're giving you this year based on some of your surveys. If you didn't pick up a copy, there's copies, a list of the, of the opportunities there at the exits as well as those little fancy magnets we gave. Live like a disciple every day. Not just a member, but a disciple. The appeal is simple. The appeal is the blood that makes everything else work. No blood means things die. So just drop it in the envelope and we'll deliver them Monday morning downtown. Father Gardo, thank you for your patience. Would you please stand and join me in reciting the Nicene Creed? I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and cried the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered under death, he rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. And I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now, with great humility, let us present our petitions to the Lord. For all who proclaim the gospel with their lives, especially teachers and missionaries, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who labor in the vineyards of peace, especially national leaders and elected representatives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who suffer and die for their faith, especially Christians in the Middle East, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all first responders and our military and those doing dangerous jobs, may the Holy Spirit guide them and protect them daily, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the sick and their caregivers who see God's face in one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Joseph Galenus, for whom this Mass is being offered, may they be with Jesus in heaven forever, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us end the petitions by saying the vision prayer. Jesus, we are your people. We praise you as Savior and Lord. Deepen our commitment to you, your church, and each other. Let us all share more actively in spreading the good news of God present among us. Help us reach out to those who have not yet experienced the joy of participating in parish life. Inspire us to seek justice and peace for all members of our parish family and beyond. Assist us in living your gospel of compassion and love in service to those in need. Mindful of our many blessings, we are especially grateful for your gift of our parish family, a family dedicated to Mary, Mother of God, her spouse, Joseph, and our beloved saints, Anthony, Vincent, Stanislaus, and Stephen. Lord, send us your spirit. Make us alive as we have never been. Let us celebrate together and place our hope in you. Amen. Amen.
As the gifts are presented and the altar is prepared, please join in singing number 449, Amazing Grace, hymn number 449 in your Breaking Bread Missal. Stand and pray, with generosity in your hearts, that your sacrifice and mine tonight will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through the Paschal mystery he accomplished a marvelous deed by which he has freed us from the yoke of sin and death, summoning us to the glory of the now being called a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for your own possession, to proclaim everywhere your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so with angels and archangels and thrones and dominions and all hosts of the powers of heaven, we too sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we all acclaim.
indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, be holy, therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For at the time he was betrayed and after being in his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, handed it to the disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, when we are gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring us to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them, Lord, into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her devoted spouse, with all the blessed apostles, martyrs, and saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Pray as the living word, Jesus himself has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil and grant us peace in our days. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, but not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us happily share a sign of that peace with one another tonight.
Behold, behold the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. And blessed are we this evening who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Say the word. During communion, please join in singing number 344, God's Holy Gifts, hymn number 344 in your Breaking Bread Missile.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those you renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption both in mystery and in the manner of our lives through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, everyone. Have a great weekend.